My name is Kevin McGlasson. I work for Samsung European Display and today I'm going to show you the remote management capabilities of our new SOC platform, Tizen. SOC uh, stands for System on Chip or Software on Chip. We put that into our phones and into our tablets. It is a one chip uh, that has all of the PC components on it. Uh, we put that into our B2B screens, so for retail signage, for LED screens, touch kiosks, even our outdoor screens. And uh, with the power of that SOC, we can then run remote management capabilities on it. There's a couple of benefits for this. It means we don't need uh, an external media player. It's much cleaner, much simpler installation. So from our uh, remote management server, uh, we get an overall dashboard of everything that's happening with our screen estate. Um, but if I click on device here, um, I can see all of the screens that are connected. Most of these are inside our showroom here, and I can do a live view uh, into the screen and see exactly what's happening on it. This is actually our interactive whiteboard. Christina is going to write on there. So if someone phoned up and said they're having a problem getting to screen mirroring or changing the source, we can dial in to that screen, see exactly what's happening on it. But not only that, we get a software remote control, and then I can drill down into the menu settings and change anything uh, that I need to. There's a bunch of statistics here, um, so we can see whether or not screens are connected, disconnected. Uh, there's also uh, an email. Uh, setting. So if the screen comes up with no signal message or it's disconnected from the network for whatever reason, this will automatically send an email to that specified email address. And so potentially, you know, you could know about a problem with the screen before the end user. We can also update the firmware. There is the firmware version that's currently running on that screen. I can deploy a firmware to a group of screens um, or to an individual screen. It will download the firmware, run that update and reboot automatically without any user intervention at all. There is a user section here, um, so the server admin um, can specify users. He can assign roles and permissions based upon the level of access that, that, that he wants to give to them. And here uh, we have our LED screen, uh, which is in our showroom. That is a 1.5 pixel pitch, uh, but we also have a showroom in Frankfurt. It's our LED showroom. And from here, um, we can do a level of diagnosis through this software, not just seeing what, what's happening on the screen or changing settings, but also down to uh, the cabinet level. So I just want to show you some slides uh, that add on the uh, RM information that I've already given you, but also gives you some more detailed information on the Tizen security. Uh, from an email notifications point of view, we're able to use all of these. As I mentioned before, the no signal message. From a performance point of view, you can see that um, with previous uh, SOC platforms, we're drastically improving the performance of that, improving the enhanced idle memory, the enhanced boot time, and the enhanced app launching time. So we get a much uh, smoother experience from the user, which means that we can now have uh, touch applications run natively on our SOC Tizen. From a security point of view, we've taken what we've learned in the uh, Knox platform, uh, Knox methodology. So Knox is a secure container uh, that is available on our mobile devices, which basically contains all of my work information um, and means that nobody can get access to it. The UK and the US military um, have signed off Samsung devices with the Knox container as being secure enough for them. And what we've done is we've taken what we've learned from that, that methodology and applied it to our Samsung Tizen SOC platform. And to give you an example of this, uh, we have the application layer, uh, the platform layer, and the system layer. Um, and we've separated them or sandboxed them. Um, so if one layer is compromised, then uh, they can't get access to, to the other layers. In addition to this, what we will soon have available is the ability to disable the USB ports and dis also disable uh, the Wi-Fi, um, showing that Samsung is committed to uh, making a secure platform. If you need any more information on our remote management capabilities or the level of security that we're able to have with our Tizen SOC, please contact uh, us here at Samsung. Um, we'll be able to share a security white paper with you.